When I take a picture, I think I'm looking for the moment when the person or the thing seems like the truest version of itself. Whether it's a shadow or a friend or the way the light hits the wall, I want to see it for what it is, which is usually really beautiful. I am really drawn to simple, normal moments of every day. I think there's a sacredness to small moments to me because that's what so much of life is made of. So if I can learn to notice the significance of the small things, that's just a really fulfilling way to live. I grew up around film. My dad is a photographer and his studio used to be all filmed based, so the sounds and smells of it are all really familiar and comforting to me. Eventually his studio switched to digital and I rediscovered film a few years ago. Um, at a time when I really needed to connect with my creative side and practice slowing down. And what I love about film is that it's slow. I love that it's slow on purpose. There's no instant gratification or adjustment after immediately seeing a result on a screen. Um, but the process is really gratifying. I think it's equal parts feeling and measurement. Like, it's your creative intuition that draws you to what you want to capture. And then it's using a more analytical intuition to figure out like the composition or the exposure and all of that. And then waiting to develop and scan and maybe print your images. So that's something I'm trying to embrace in my own life, just letting things take time and be a process. I also love film because even the mistakes can be beautiful and you don't just delete them. Maybe light leaks or you double expose something or you weren't focused right. There can be such interesting results if you let yourself be a little playful with it. Like, what if this accidental thing really is beautiful? I love to double expose photos and see multiple points in time at once. Because you can't really like, listen to two songs at once, but visually you can layer two points in time on film. And that's really fascinating to me. And it's so tangible. I find it really grounding physically from the weight of the camera and emotionally and spiritually to listen to that voice that says, I think there's an image there, and then to go capture it. And I really love sharing something tangible at the end too. I print a lot of my pictures and give them to friends um, or hang them up. I think it's such a fun way to let someone know that their small moments matter too um, and to give them something they can hold.